Are we ready? It's kind of a little more towards you, but that's okay. Do you want to put me down a little? No, no, that's perfect. I'm taller than you. You're not. I'm taller. Look. You're so much shorter than I. Am. I'm going to put this in the blooper. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Jack from Tofluency.com and we are back with another conversation and today we are going to talk about... Flu season. Flu season. Now if you don't know who this is, this is my wife Kate. Hello. And she is from America, I'm from the UK. We have these conversations in British and American English. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about the flu season, getting sick and also staying healthy. Yeah. How should we start? Well, I think probably a good introduction would be to say that we didn't really think about getting sick two years ago. Right. Three years ago. Yeah. We have a three-year-old who is in school and we are just getting sick constantly. Yeah. It's what we think about all the time. Mm -hmm. why, why is that? Well, okay, it mainly started when Thomas started daycare when our son started daycare mm -hmm. but also you started teaching at that time in a yeah. middle school so you brought the germs home Thomas mm -hmm. brought the germs home and we were just exposed to all these germs and mm -hmm. we I've just been getting sick a lot over the past two or three years yes and later on in this conversation we're going to try and talk about ways to stay healthy or look at ways that we might be able to stay healthy mm -hmm. you don't know what those ways are right now um, but there are a couple of phrases here that I want to introduce. When, okay. what, what does it mean to be coming down with something or to be fighting something off? Because I say this a lot. I'll say, uh -huh. oh, I'm fighting something off at the moment. Yeah, that's, um, that's a time where you've been exposed to whatever germ it is, whatever virus, um, and you feel really tired, really worn down, mm -hmm. and either you're fighting it off, which means that your immune system is going to keep you from getting sick, or you're coming down with it, which means that the next day you mm -hmm. might wake up with a sore throat or yep. a stuffy nose. Yeah, so it's, it's not a situation where you, where you say, I'm sick, yeah. or I feel sick. You, it's when it's just starting to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm fighting something off at the moment, so I feel tired. Mm -hmm. And usually, we know when it's happening because we just want yes. to go and lie down, and uh -huh. we just want to get away from everything. <laughs> you know, except each other. Except well, each. Well, no, you want to just be on other, your own yes. in bed uh -huh. and just you know, fight it off, yeah. basically. You want your mom to come with a cup of tea and yeah. some chicken soup. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and chicken soup is one of those things yeah. that people have when they are feeling sick. We had it the other day. Yes. We uh -huh. did. Um, so we are constantly fighting things off. Mm -hmm. And we don't always get sick sick. Mm -hmm. But we always seem to be in this situation where either Thomas is sick and we're sick Mm -hmm. or we're feeling under the weather, we're feeling like we're fighting it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so what kind of symptoms do you have when you're fighting something off? Except think, for being tired. Except for being tired. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I think for me that's probably the biggest one. Sometimes I get thirsty. Yeah. Sometimes I find, even though I'm so tired, sometimes I find it hard to get to sleep. That's a good one. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's harder to get to sleep at night. Mm -hmm. My gums sometimes sometimes hurt when yeah. I'm fighting something off. Uh -huh. They've been hurting this week, and it's some kind of inflammation. Okay. And sometimes my hands break out as well mm -hmm. when I'm fighting something off too. Mm -hmm. But usually it's just that feeling of low energy and feeling like you can't do anything. <laughs> Go on. And yeah. you don't have any you don't have any motivation, do you? I know. It's yeah. Although usually right before I get sick, and this might just be me, but I want to do a lot. But mm -hmm. at the same time, it just seems totally overwhelming, and I can't get anything done, and then mm -hmm. I get stressed out. <laughs> yeah, no, I do as well. Uh -huh. um, and we're not going to talk too much about serious illness in this no. lesson. Mm -mm. but um, Except for one very special yeah. serious illness. Tell everyone Which about is, that. Uh, due to our heart. I think that you probably have to fill in the blanks. Typhoid. Yes. Yeah. Typhoid. And I've mentioned this in a couple of lessons before, mm -hmm. but we met while I was traveling and while you were traveling mm -hmm. as well in Ecuador. 
And I got typhoid just after you went back to America. That's right. Um, and I think I've told everyone about the story about how I went to bed on Wednesday at 7.30. Uh -huh. And I woke up like Friday afternoon. Wow. I woke up a couple of times to, to go to the bathroom or to have a drink of water. But uh -huh. this was a, a terrible thing to get. But it meant that we kept our relationship going. Yeah. Well, you also, you'd gotten the vaccine for this, yes. right? Yeah. So it wasn't that you went to a country without the vaccines. You had gotten the vaccine. It's just not 100% effective. Mm -hmm. So you got so sick. Yeah. And when you told me what the doctors at the hospital thought that it was, I was just shocked because I didn't think that this was, uh, you know, it's a disease that you read about a hundred years ago. Yeah. I didn't think that it was a, a common disease anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And I've told yeah. everyone the story and I showed a uh -huh. picture about how, the, well, about the time when you didn't recognize me. Yes. Because I'd <laughs> lost so much weight. Yeah, you lost about 50 pounds. What's that in stones or kilograms? Know. In or... kilograms, about 20 kilograms, I think. Wow. Yeah, it was about mm -hmm. that, I feel. And I'll link to the picture in the description. And by the way, Read the description because we have a bunch of phrases from this mm -hmm. video and I'll leave all the examples below. Um, but yeah, that, it took me a long time to recover from that. Yes. And I feel like as we get older, it takes us longer to get over these colds, to get mm -hmm. over the, the sickness that we have. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, at the, but at the time when you were mm -hmm. so sick, um, it just kept us in touch because you would have been traveling all the way around South America and, you know, on a bus and we'd had this special connection yeah. and this like romantic connection, but who knows if it would have no. lasted if you hadn't been stuck in Ecuador where you could just email me constantly and call me and I could call back. And I felt like I was in this really, um, special and kind of stressful position yeah. because you didn't tell your family well your parents well my my dad had an accident at that time and he yeah. was in hospital so yeah it was a strange time yeah so um, so they didn't even know so mm -hmm. it was only me and your sister out right. of everybody that, that knew true. and loved you that knew that you were so 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 ill yeah. in a foreign country in a foreign country yeah and so also yeah. my my auntie knew as well okay yeah um but on a more light-hearted thing about this <laughs> um yeah do you remember That's what i ate so and drink and drank during that time <laughs> you, you ate you ate cheddar crackers mini cheddars mini cheddars <laughs> and you said something really funny did you I? said, well, you should get the normal size ones. because yeah. <laughs> you were, because you were so, you know, you were losing so much weight. <laughs> but I couldn't eat anything else. It was the only thing I felt I could eat at that time. Mm -hmm. Mini cheddars and Gatorade. Yes. A Gatorade, for those who don't know, it's a sports drink. Uh-huh. And in the UK, do you know what they call this? No. Lucasade. That does not have the same ring to it. Gatorade, Lucasade. Well, because you're used to Lucasade. Gatorade. It just doesn't roll Lucasade. off the tongue the same way. Well. Uh, in my opinion. Yeah. It, it took me a while to get used to Gatorade as well. Yeah. Um, but that's about, that's another thing that's supposed to be really good for you when you're sick, right? Because the water has, or the sports drinks have electrolytes in them. Yes. To replenish that. Yeah, and you body. need to, and I was probably craving that for that reason. Mm -hmm. I don't think Gatorade is the best drink to have for electrolytes. Mm -hmm. You know, I think coconut water really? is the best, but okay. you know, it's what I could find at the time and yeah. I wasn't too concerned about, <laughs> you know, added sugars or added chemicals in there uh -huh. at the time. I just sure. wanted something to replenish myself. Um, let's talk about staying healthy. Yes. Which is which has become a passion for us <laughs> because we're living with this three year old and yeah. three year olds are just like walking germs. Yeah. They have terrible hygiene. They do. All of them. So they well, the the big thing they do is they wipe their nose with their hand. Yes. And then they their hands go on everything. Uh-huh. And they never think about washing their hands. You have yeah. to remind them to wash their hands. Mm -hmm. But what what did you get recently? for Thomas to try and help him stay healthy? I got him special vitamins mm -hmm. that um, 
I think the main things that they have in them, which are good things to kind of boost your immune system and make you stay healthier, um, is zinc. Yep. Vitamin C. Yep. And um, echinacea. Echinacea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is an, an herb, yeah. I guess. Or, or a herb. Oh, as you see in your <laughs> that, That's one thing I've not got used to, is that pronunciation of herb. Of herb, yeah. Oh, it sounds so strange to me. <laughs> There's a lot of things I use now in the American English, but yeah, herb. Herb for me, but herb for uh, American English. So hopefully, these little, they're, they're like little gummy bears, aren't yes, they? They're they like are. candy or sweets. And hopefully they're going to help him stay healthy because he's going to eat them. He wants to eat them, uh -huh. but also they have the good stuff in them too. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're back. Um, what I have done, I found a few ways or three tips that we can stay healthy. Okay. And what Tell I thought yes. we could do is try to apply these over the next week. However, uh -huh. there's one that might not be possible. Okay. We'll see. The first one is eat more vegetables. Okay. I, I'm simple. on board. Yeah. yeah. So Kate's on board. She wants to do this. We haven't been eating as many vegetables as we usually do. Yeah. And I think it's because it's winter. Mm -hmm. And in the summer, we have a lot of uh, salads, don't we? Yes. We put in cucumber, mm -hmm. tomatoes. Tomatoes. We put in pepper sometimes. Mm -hmm. And we, we love salads, but we don't feel like eating them in winter. No. So we need to find ways to introduce more vegetables mm -hmm. into our weekly diet. Are there, and you might not know this, but are there any vegetables that are supposed to be more healthy than other vegetables or are they all equally good? Okay, we're back. Um, you just asked yes. a question about vegetables. Yes. If there are specific vegetables and luckily I've had some time to think. <laughs> um, I think you mean Google. No, because you, we, you said one before. Did I? Which was garlic. Garlic, yes. Garlic. So By the way, I love the flavor of garlic. Mm hmm Me too. Really? Yeah, but it's just the changed. it's just the effect afterwards. Oh, that makes sense. Because it can be quite smelly. Overpowering. Overpowering, definitely definitely. Mm -hmm. I've also learned that mushrooms and onions are great immune boosters too. Mm -hmm. And I just imagine that most vegetables are going to help you because of yeah. the vitamins and minerals, mm -hmm. right? That, yeah. that go in there. So obviously eating more vegetables means that you get more vitamins and minerals, which mm -hmm. helps you stay healthy and uh, can definitely help you avoid illness and avoid colds mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that. Um, number two, sleep more. Ah, sleep more. Sleep more. How many mm -hmm. hours do you average per night of sleep? Um, mm, that is a good question. Um, because right now we have Emma, mm -hmm. and Emma is still waking up several times a night, so I probably get about five hours of sleep a night. Five hours. Mm -hmm. It's not a lot, is it? No, it's, it's not, it's not what I would ideally have. I would like to have ten hours of sleep. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Twice as much. <laughs> yeah, and we, we used to get a lot of sleep, didn't mm -hmm. we? When when we didn't have children. <laughs> when we didn't have children. Yeah, it mm -hmm. was amazing to think back to, even when we were living in Asheville, yeah. about waking up at 10 a.m., 11 a.m., <laughs> sometimes at noon. Yes, sleeping in. Sleeping in. Mm -hmm. It's something that we, we don't do. Mm -hmm. But obviously sleep helps you recover, it helps you regenerate, and it mm -hmm. it helps your health too. That makes sense. And I remember reading once that if you don't get enough sleep, your blood sugar is elevated, insulin levels are higher, mm -hmm. and obviously this isn't a good thing uh, to have in general. Mm -hmm. But what have we just done recently to help us get to sleep? Do you oh, remember? Oh, on our phones? Is that on what you're phones, thinking? Yeah, yeah. So our phones, we have new phones, we which have is new phones. really exciting. Yeah. Um, they have these special modes where the screen changes can change colors. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's if it's a blue screen. Yes. Yeah, so n normally the light is really blue, mm -hmm. which means it's got this um, very blue temperature to to the whole color and the screen. Mm -hmm. But we've put it on a mode so that it automatically 
goes to a warmer temperature uh -huh. because the blue light is has been proven to show it just releases the hormones that suggest like okay it's time to time to get going Wake up. <laughs> yeah it's like looking at the sun uh -huh. and when you when you have the sun in the morning it helps you wake up yes but then that warmer light apparently it helps you relax more and mm -hmm. it doesn't interfere with your hormones I was a little bit skeptical at first, but now I've really been noticing when I've been on my phone, I can tell right away when it goes to that warmer light and mm -hmm. I just feel a little bit drowsier. Yeah. So I think it's working. I think it's working too. Mm -hmm. other, ways that w other ways that we've introduced to help us sleep, or more for our sun, mm -hmm. is the, the bath. Isn't yeah, it? before take bed. Yeah, a relaxing bath before bed. We have these lavender salts that we put into him. Yeah. <laughs> We're just like, please, please, get sleepy, go to bed. Yeah. And then the other thing we, we do as well is we have bedtime tea or sleepy time tea. Yes. Uh huh. And I'm not sure what's in that. Do you know what's in it? I know that one of the ingredients is chamomile. Chamomile, that's which right. It's supposed to be very relaxing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this tea can help you relax at night as well. Mm -hmm. But the biggest problem we have is that Emma wakes up. Mm -hmm. And also sometimes, going back to sickness, if Thomas yes. is sick, he wakes up as well. Mm -hmm. And then usually when that happens, I sleep in his room mm -hmm. to try and calm him down. Yeah. But yeah, sleep is a big issue. Mm -hmm. and it, but it's such an important thing. It really is. So mm -hmm. important. The final one is simple. Wash your hands. Ah, wash your hands. And use yes. hand sanitizer. Uh -huh. So there was some controversy recently about using hand sanitizer. That it wasn't supposed to be the healthiest thing. Was it antibacterial Uh-huh. And antibacterial hand soap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but what, what's the idea about washing your hands? How does that help? I... Think just basically to get the germs off. Yeah, so if well, you've been exposed to things. If you've been touching things, yeah, where other people who have been sick have been touching them, you wash it all off, and then that yeah. way you don't get sick. Because the idea is that the germs, it's it's easier to get sick through the germs on your hands rather mm -hmm. than like something in the air. Mm -hmm. So if someone sneezes, it it doesn't affect you as much as if you were like you know touching something and you got germs on your hands. I know, I was thinking about this. I know, this. I know, because we're, we're so focused now on staying healthy. I'm washing my hands all the time, which is actually making my hands dry out. Have you noticed that your hands are My hands are, yeah, they are drier. Yeah. But I also feel that's a symptom of coming down with something for me. <laughs> so, it's a vicious cycle. This it is just a very, keeps going around. It, um. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and when Thomas goes to school, they always say, wash your hands as soon as you come in. Yes. But... You know, I don't know if that's, it's going to make a difference, but if someone's sick at preschool, those kids are just, it's such a small space, they're all touching different things, uh -huh. you know, it's yeah. very difficult to avoid, isn't it, at that Absolutely. age? Absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. Um, we've come to the time where Kate asks a question, and you haven't prepared again. I always am prepared. Okay, then. Here is my question to anybody who might be watching. Um, so we mentioned some things that we like to do to stay healthy. Um, also, we haven't talked about this, but another thing that I want to try for us is mm -hmm. elderberry syrup. We've tried that in the past. Hasn't you know, been great, I, but I want to try it again. <laughs> I, can I just say, I tried this with Thomas because we had some. Yeah. And I said, just try this. And I put some drops in his mouth mm -hmm. and he just found it disgusting. Oh, really? No, there's some, I need to tell you about this. There's some in the bottom of the refrigerator mm -hmm. that's really sweet. It has a lot of honey in it, which is right. also supposed to be helpful to yes. your immune system. And honey he and loves lemon. that. I've been calling it candy juice. Candy juice. Okay. <laughs> I'll put this candy juice in this cereal next time. But yeah, we, like we didn't this. even talk about okay. honey and lemon. I know. Those are our favorite ones. And they're I love the ones that everyone lemon. talks about. But anyway, okay. your question. Okay. So without mentioning honey and lemon and elderberry syrup, and washing hands. Um, what are your tips and tricks to stay healthy? Or if you do get sick, what is something that you think helps you recover faster? Yeah, I love that. Because maybe you take something and it, it won't stop you from getting sick, but mm -hmm. recovering faster is a great thing to it's have. It's great, yes. Yeah. And I mean, I can't promise, but it's pretty likely that anything that anyone suggests 
We are willing to try. Hey, it's me again. The conversation cut off because I ran out of memory on my memory card. But luckily, it did so at a really great place. So, I hope you enjoyed that conversation. Again, there will be a list of the vocabulary that we used in the description. And if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to this channel. Just click that button, click the bell, and then you'll get notifications whenever we upload a new video or when we go live on YouTube. So, thanks again for watching. If you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and please share. Bye for now.